Hi, welcome back. I'm Evangelist Charlotte Lumpkins, and this is Shout It Out to the Rooftops Ministry. I appreciate you taking the time with your busy schedule to spend time in this Bible study. Thank you for joining me again. I'm an Evangelist, and this is Shout It Out to the Rooftops Ministry, and I'm doing a series called Freedom in Christ and the Kingdom of Heaven. Yes, these videos are about preparing you for the Kingdom of Heaven. If you want to be there, my title today is The Lord Hears and Cares. God has ears. Yes, he does. He hears your prayers. You heard the people say that God has ears. Yes, he does. And God made the air. And I pray that you use your ears to hear, thus saith the Lord. Scripture says, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Lord says. So, those of you that has ears, clear them out. Dig out that wax in there. Clear your ears out, your spiritual ears, and hear what thus saith the Lord. Because this message is for you. Why don't we open in prayer and invite the Holy Spirit. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we invite you in this space, God. We welcome you, God. Guide us, teach us. Lord, motivate us to understand, Lord, to open this Bible today and give us instructions on what and how you want your people to live. Father, in the name of Jesus, be with us. Bless every listener and meet every need. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, again, welcome back. I appreciate you taking your time out, your busy schedule to study with me today. Our first scripture, again, is going to be, He that made an ear, hear. Psalms 94, 9. I'm going to go slow. I have plenty of scriptures for you. We're going to be talking about the Lord hears. He hears your prayers. He hears your conversations. He hears your thoughts. Yes, yes, he does. And when you talk to him, he hears your voice. He knows your voice. If you name the Lord as Lord and Savior of your life, and when you talk to your Father, when you talk to Creator, when you talk to your Heavenly Parent, yes, He's listening to you. And guess what? He wants you to listen to Him too. All right, so here we go. The first one, Psalms 94, 9. He that made the air hears. Psalms 94, and that's the Old Testament. Let's begin. Does he who implanted the air not hear? Does he who formed the eye not see? Does he who disciplines nations not punish? Does he who teaches man lack knowledge? The Lord knows the thoughts of man. He knows that they are fruitful. That's right. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you're thinking before you say it yourself, what you're thinking. People say, you know what I was thinking? The Lord says, I know. I already heard your thoughts. The next one, Jeremiah 33, 3. Jeremiah 33, 3. Here we go. This is what the Lord says, who made the earth, the Lord who formed it and established it. The Lord is his name. That's right. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. So if you call to somebody on the other end, you expect them to pick up the phone and speak to you. That's because they heard your voice. That's right. And you heard his voice or her voice or your partner's voice or your mom and dad's voice or your children's voice. You heard them and you said, hi, this is so-and-so. This is auntie. This is Nana. This is cousin. That's right. You heard their voice. You recognize their voice. So do you recognize God's voice today? Because he's talking. Yes, God is talking. And if you can recognize auntie's voice because you hear her often, you recognize cousin's voice, you recognize mom's voice because you're used to hearing her voice. She's talking. Do you recognize the Heavenly Father's voice? Well, this is what this message is going to be about today. Recognizing God's voice. He's talking to his people. And are you listening? He that hath an ear, are you hearing what thus saith the Lord? My notes. What this means to me how this is lived out in the blessings and promises and benefits of hearing and obeying the word of God. Okay, here we go. The first one, what this means to me. Believers hear his voice. John 10, 27, 28. John 10, 27, 28. Believers hear his voice. He says, John 10, that's the New Testament. He says, yes, I am the gate and those who come in through me will be saved they will come and go freely and will find good pastures. The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. 
My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. There's two dynamics right there. What God is trying to do, what the Lord is trying to do, and what the enemy is trying to do, the thief. So if you can hear with your ears, you will be able to hear what God's good plan for you is. And use those same ears, you can hear what the enemy's plans for you are. You can hear when somebody says to you, oh, you know what? Let's tell Barbara, she's really this. And my goodness, she gets on my nerves. And then they want you to hear that and pass that rumor on. No, that isn't what the Lord wants you to do. If you heard the word of God, it says, be kind, tenderhearted, and forgiving one another. So you use the same ears to hear something, pass it on, and it's negative and it hurts people. That's not what he wants you to do. But if you heard the word of God, and it says, be tenderhearted, forgiving one another, you use those ears that you heard his word, and you obey his word. So... If you can try your argument with God, God, I didn't hear you. He said, well, I gave you ears to hear. I gave you ears, and I hope you are hearing. We just read that there's two, two voices in your head. One voice is the Lord, and he wants you to do good. And then the other voice, the accuser, comes out, and he wants you to speak or say or hear, repeat something. That is not good. So believers hear his voice. And I hope that voice that you hear and obey is the Lord's voice. Okay. My notes from my notes, what this means to me, believers obey the voice of God. Genesis 26, five. We're going to go to the old Testament. Genesis 26, five here. Genesis 26, five. This is Isaiah and Ambalet. Abraham obeyed me and kept my requirements, my commands and my decrees and my laws. Did you hear that? If you hear from God and you obey God, that's what he wants. If you have ears and you hear, that's what the Lord wants. Hear what? Hear what with those ears? Hear what somebody's negative saying to you? Hear what somebody is putting somebody down and you're going to pass that rumor on? You're going to start that rumor? No, you're not going to do that. He says, Abraham obeyed me and kept my commandments, my commandments, decrees, and my laws. Does the Lord say that about you? Can the Lord say your name? And you said, son, I, daughter, I heard you. I know you're keeping my commandments. I know you're obeying me. That's what we want to say when we go to bed at night, when we lay down our prayer, when we lay down to say our prayers at night, we want to hear the Holy Spirit say, I know you obeyed my law today. I know you heard my decrees. I know you followed my word. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's what we want to hear today. The next one, my notes from my notes. Faith increases as we hear the word. Romans 10, 17. Faith increases as we hear the word. Okay. Romans, this is the New Testament. We're going to be all over the place today. Old and new. Romans, here we go. Here we go. They have the same Lord who gives generously to all who call upon him. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Why do you call? Because he hears you. He hears your voice. He hears you because you stayed in touch with him. He hears you because you're obeying him. He hears you because you're familiar. You have a relationship. That's right. He's your friend. He's your, he's your partner in, in life. He's your helper. He's your doctor. You know, he takes your calls. He's your parent, your spiritual parent. He hears his kid crying in the backyard. What happened? The mother runs out and sees the baby on the floor. Oh, my God, my little boy. He's nine years old, and he fell because the mom came out, and he hears you. Does God hear your cry? Does God hear you? And he says, they have the same Lord who gives generously to all who call, who call, you know he's going to take your call, who call on him for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Has you believed our message? So faith comes from hearing, and that is hearing the good news about Christ. Beloved, did you get that? Are you hearing the good news about Christ or are you passing on rumors? Are you hearing the good news about Christ and you sharing it because you heard that's what the Lord wants his believers to do? I hope you are. That's what this message is about today. Hearing from the Lord, 
obeying him, keeping his commandments and his decrees. And that's the message the Lord wants his children to do. Obey me, he said today. Obey the Lord. Obey the living God. The next one. God speaks two things into existence. God speaks things into existence. That's Genesis 1, 11. Genesis 1, 11. God spoke things into the beginning. Let's see. He spoke. So he spoke. He said, then the Lord said, Genesis 1, 11. Then the Lord said, let the land produce vegetation, seed bearing plants and trees on the land and that bear fruit with seed in it, according to the various kinds. And it was so, the Bible says, the land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds and trees bearing seed fruit with seed in it, according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning the third day. God saw. Our other video was about God seeing. He sees you, and he hears you. That's what these videos are about today. God sees you every single day, every waking moment of God's that doesn't sleep. Scripture says he doesn't slumber or sleep. He sees you, and this video is about he hears you. Are you calling upon him? Are you praying to him? Are you seeking him? My father knows my voice. My my dad, I can say, hi, dad. And he's like, oh, so he's got six kids, but he knows my voice. God has tons of kids. Does he know your voice? All right. The next one. God spoke and the so and summoned the earth. Psalms 50 verse 11. Psalms 50 verse 11. God called it all. God called it, spoke it into existence. If God was the type of God that didn't speak, then you wouldn't need ears. But he gave you ears because he was going to be talking to you. Yes, he was. He gave us ears to hear him. Here we go. Psalms 50 verse 1. The mighty one, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth. I said it right here. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. I read it here. The Lord speaks. Yes, he does. Beloved, our job as believers and born again and watching the blood of the Lamb is to hear him when he speaks. And it, I mean, it might be 2 a.m. in the morning. Wake up. He wants to talk to you. It might be in an afternoon. Walk at the park. You might be sitting at your desk just on your computer. And suddenly you just hear, you know what? Buy Carol lunch. Hmm. That's interesting. It might be send, send, um, send uh, Donna some nice, uh, 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 nice um, uh, 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 snack or something from the um, 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 places that deliver food, you know? One of them grocery stores that deliver. Put on some groceries together, you know? You call that in and send that over there to Gloria because she's a senior and she's at home. And guess what? You heard him say that. You go like, wow, Sister Gloria, I didn't think that. That's him speaking. Yes, it is. That's him speaking. Send Sister Gloria some groceries. Just have the store pack it all up. Pick some same thing that you know you would like, she would like. That's his voice. And if he says he speaks and summons the earth and we're people on earth, well, guess who he's talking to? He's not talking to a blade of grass. He's not talking to a chicken or a fish or a bird. No, he's talking to his people. He's talking to you and me. And he summons us. And we're going to read that about more of that too. I'm going ahead of myself. But he summons you like he summons his servants. The next one, the Lord speaks and he will perform it. Ezekiel 12, 25. Ezekiel 12, 25. This is so exciting. Ezekiel is the Old Testament. Next one. But the Lord, but I, the Lord, will speak what I will, and it shall be fulfilled without delay. Did you see that? If he spoke a blessing over your life in his word and you claimed it, he's going to perform it. But I, the Lord, will speak what I will, and it shall be fulfilled without delay. If he spoke a blessing on you or he spoke, nah, that's not going to work. And here's what I'm going to do about that. Guess what? He going to do it. If he said it, he is going to do it. And you best believe it. If he can speak the world into existence and he can speak a blade of grass to grow, amen, then he can do it. He's going to perform his word. And we believe that. These are my notes. The next one, the Lord speaks to Moses face to face. Yes, he does. Exodus 33, 11. Exodus 33, 11. 
God spoke to Moses face to face. Imagine having a conversation with God face to face, beloved. Is that true? Do you believe that Lord Jesus loves you, came into your heart, and he can speak to you through the power of the Holy Spirit within you? Yes, he can. Yes, he does. And yes, he will. But beloved, this message is about, are you listening? Church, are you listening to his voice? Are you obeying it? Are you keeping his commandments? Are you keeping his decrees? Are you walking in the spirit as he is in the spirit and you have fellowship one with one another? It's not enough to just say the name of the Lord, but are you walking in him? Are you obeying him? Now, the next one, um, Exodus. Exodus 33, verse 11. Here we go. The Lord would speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks with his friend. Did you read that? Ever read that before? Have you ever read that before, that the Lord speaks to Moses face to face? What kind of person could Moses have possibly been? A man just like you and me, a person whose heart was after God, a man who said, Lord, I know you exist. And God used Moses in a mighty way to speak to Pharaoh. All right. And Pharaoh had to obey that voice that he heard from Moses. He said, Moses said, I represent him. <laughs> and Pharaoh says, well, who is him? And he said, I am the I am sent me and let my people go. Well, here we go today. The Lord would speak to Moses face to face, beloved, because of Jesus Christ coming to the earth and dying and sacrificing his life for our sin. He's speaking to you face to face. How? Through his word through his word. You might not hear that voice at 3 a.m., but betcha you, you might have had a dream. You might have not have had a dream, but God's speaking to you. Somebody's Sunday message might have said something to you, and you said, like, wow, that was the Lord. That child, a four-year-old, that might come up to you and say, be nice, Daddy. Be nice, Susan. You say, well, why does this kid say that to me? Well, maybe he knew what you were thinking about what you were going to do. That wasn't going to be nice. You don't know how God's going to speak, but yes, he spoke to Moses face to face. Beloved, we can enter the throne of grace, and we can call upon the name of the Lord. Why? Because he has ears and he can hear. Why? Because when we call upon him, he hears us. And when he calls upon us, do we hear him? And that's what Samuel did. I have a scripture about Samuel. He was saying, look, I'm, I'm waking up. Why am I? I hear this name. I hear this voice. And go back to sleep. It's, why? But I keep hearing my name. And he had to get up and say, next time you hear him, son, you say to him, Lord, hear my, send me. Is God talking to you today and you hear his voice? You say, Lord, here am I. Send me. We're going to pick it up from there. How this is lived out. How do you live out hearing the word of God? How do you live out daily knowing that God is speaking to you because you have ears? We're going to come back at the next video. I hope you join me. I'm Evangelist Charlotte Lumpkins. Come on back and we're going to say how this is lived out. And I got plenty of scriptures to help you. Not just all the scriptures. You got to do something too. When you hear these videos, you got to go back into the study and you got to study more with the Lord as well. I'm just giving you a little taste. This is just a taste of what God will give to you if you seek his face. Come on back. I hope you join me. I look forward to it. We're talking about God has ears and he hears. And now, how do we live this out hearing from the voice of God? Thank you for joining me. Come on back.